What's up, Tech Harders? Wanted to chat with you today about a really cool release in our community, Plasma 6. I'm sure you've seen the other videos from real content creators uh, showing it off. It is beautiful. The panels switch to a floating panel. Um, they've added applications. They've made other applications much better. It's a big release. Um, we were on Plasma 5.27 for a while, and Plasma 6 was like their next um, ma mainstream big deal thing. Uh, I read a blog post uh, that the KDE team apologized for the KDE Neon rollout of Plasma 6, and there were some issues there. Um, users were saying the Discover app was crashing, uh, amongst other things. So the KDE team is working on that. I noticed that Arch Linux put Plasma 6 in their main repositories now. So you don't have to add the extra slash testing repos to install it. And I wanted to go today, give it an install on good old vanilla Arch Linux and see how it fares there. I've heard and experienced that there's also some growing pains, but I wanna make sure I state that this video is to help developers. I'm gonna report anything I find to both the KDE team and the Arch Linux team. And these issues are going to be ironed out. The point is, this is a desktop environment that is so customizable, got huge, huge upgrades, and is gonna be a killer app of Linux in 2024, in my opinion. But come on for the ride. Um, I'm gonna give you a montage of me installing Arch Linux, and then we'll see the first boot of Plasma 6 on that system. Let's go! rock stars let's boot into that arch linux we just installed and i'll select arch linux if you like this grub theme i'm going to link at the top of the screen where you can go see our arch installation video and how to get these extras all right let's get some plasma 6 and experience the issues that both kde neon users and arch linux users are experiencing all right plasma Five? That ain't right. First things first, I can see the Plasma 6 SDDS theme didn't come through. I wonder if, number one, is Plasma 6 even installed? And number two, is the other Plasma 6 theming missing? Let's get in here. We'll try to fix as much as we can. Okay, we have Plasma 6 theming here. Let's open up settings and go to the SDDM page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. The Breeze theme is not even selected, so let's try that. And did we fix that little issue? I'll do a log out and we can see. Come on, I'm pulling for you. Okay, beautiful. Now we can see that awesome Plasma 6 theme in SDDM. It's not an issue for you know you or me, but it might be for a brand new user. Again, these are all just teething issues and I'm certain they'll be sorted out, but I wanted to give you guys a real video that shows what we get on day one if we use, you know, Arch Linux's very first uh, Plasma 6 packages and setup. Okay, let's walk through the Welcome Center a little bit. We're simple by default, awesome. Um, we have vaults, activities, I know that changed, I wanna take a look at it. Overview, I think that changed too. Uh, let's check out vaults, ba -ba -ba -ba. they're over here, you do the carrot, and Click vaults, let's try to create a new vault. Oops, look, I see right here. Uh, CWARIF file system is unable to detect the version. I don't know what commands it uses. 
Can I get lucky and type in CRY? No. I mean, it's not going to be crypt setup, right? It's the underlying file system. Crypt setup is 2.71. But at any rate, can I create a vault? Uh, vault number one. No, I can't. Can I select a different? So it's unable to detect versions of the encryption software. I cannot create a new vault. Okay. Uh, let's go to activities. So I'm supposed to be able to press meta tab. On Plasma, there's both activities and workspaces. Workspaces, you know, are different workspaces that you can swipe with four fingers left or right or press Meta F1, F2, etc. And activities are like different collections of workspaces. You can have home, school, work, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to make an activity. We'll open up settings. Boom. Hey guys, should we switch to dark mode? Let's do it, man. Dark's a lot better on my eyes. Click apply. <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing. Again, this video is not to dishearten the Arch people nor the Plasma 6 people because Plasma 6 is in my opinion, I almost want to say earth-shaking, but it's a really awesome update to their uh, DE. But it seems like <laughs> I can't easily switch to dark mode. Let's um, <laughs> let's try to log out. See if I can kind of kickstart it maybe. I don't know. Let's log out. Again, uh, there's many people working on, on this Saturday right now. As I'm making this video, this is not about saying any of these are a bad thing. I love them. But there we go. Look, we got dark after a logout. Let's go into settings and see. I'm going to try to switch back to light theme. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it'll go to dark. Okay, so check that out. Uh, the first time I ran it, it would not switch from light to dark. I had to log out, but now it seems that things are ironed out. I'm sure these are just, you know, little parts that weren't found. They they converted everything over to Plasma 6, working on the different packages, and um, there's maybe a line of text in some settings file, and that's the issue. And it's gonna be ironed out in a few days or a few weeks. We now have dark theme, but that was one other issue. What were we doing now? Going to activities, okay. So we have the home activity set up. I'm gonna create another one, and we'll call this one work. So we'll have a home and a work activity, okay. Oops, that changed. Let me go back over. Activities. Uh, now, meta plus tab. Uh-oh. Okay, meta tab is not pulling up activities. Is there another button to pull up activities? Let me try here, meta tab. Okay, activities, the switcher is not working. However, can I get to the work activity? I'm gonna make a different shortcut. I'm just gonna do like control alt. Two. Okay, so control alt two to take me to work and then let's go to home and I'll make that control alt one Save did I save the work one? Nope control alt two Save okay, I'm gonna try meta tab again. It's still not working now. I'm gonna do control alt two Okay, so that works. So I Just pushed control alt one now. We're in the home activity control alt two brings us here and let's open up something. We'll open up contact just so we can show this. Uh, control Alt 1, I'm back on home. And Control Alt 2, I'm back on work. However, the meta tab is not bringing, you know, usually a menu pops out here. You push meta tab, menu pops out here, and there's like a home icon and a work icon. I can switch between the two with my shortcut, but meta tab is not working. Okay. Again, probably something very minor um, that the developers are going to catch once they even find out about it. Let's talk about the panel down here. You can see it's now a floating panel. I love it. It's awesome. When you pull a window down to it, it gets out of the way automatically. That is beautiful. It's awesome. We can also change the width of it. Let's uh, go into edit mode here. I think this menu is new also. So right now it's fill to width. I'm going to change it to fit content. Okay, that's a little jammed up in there. I'm going to do a custom width. Okay, how do I do it? I maybe, oh, I go right here maybe? Okay, yeah. I'm going to drag this. There we go. So, I'll make it like that big. Always visible. Auto hide. So, you can still change it if, if you want. When you pull a menu over the panel and want it to disappear completely, you can. But I like its stock 
setup. So there I change it to a custom width and still if I pull down, it gives me more space. That's awesome. It's really sweet. Okay, cool. That's activities in the panel. K runner, what's the other thing? Alt space. Yeah, K runner pops right up. You can do searches for installed software. You can do um, uh, multiplication problems. You can, I think, get time information. I guess we can see. You can convert between currencies, calculate math problems, and a lot more. Probably find information. That's alt space for K runner. Oh, the overview. This is really awesome too. You can press uh, meta W or I think meta G. Yeah, meta G or meta W. Or also just swipe up with four fingers. This is really beautiful. It brings you kind of like a GNOME like deal where you can drag and drop to different workspaces. You can add workspaces. And uh, this, this, in my opinion, is an upgrade. And then if you drag four fingers up again, it gives you that view of all your workspaces. So you're supposed to be able to type meta tab for the activities and a menu is supposed to pop out here and show you know your home, work, school. That's not working. I can switch with control alt two or the shortcut I've set up, but the overview is rad. Four fingers up, up again, up again, bye bye. That is beautiful. Okay, and it says we can still get new stuff. We know all this. I'm gonna give them detailed anonymous usage information just while I test. Normally I leave that off, but I want the devs to get as much information from these issues as I can. So we'll go through this and we'll finish. Okay. What else can we test? What was new? Oh, they, they brought the cube back, that workspace switcher. Let's search for cube, desktop effects, search for cube. Okay, turn it on. Let's check this out. Meta plus C is the uh, shortcut. Let's apply that and press meta C. Dang, man, and that is not working. Meta C does not bring up a cube. That could be the compositor, that could be a setup issue, but we're just trying to walk through and see what is and is not perfect out of the box. But we have to find all these little bugs and get them worked out. I know they shipped with a couple new softwares. I've already logged in. Uh, Tokadon is a Mastodon client. Let's get in there. Okay, well that's a little slow to load. Boom, it pulls up my Mastodon, uh, no problems. And there it is. You can join your Mastodon, Mastodon communities and have a KDE client built right in if you choose. Seems like everything works. That's pretty cool. So that's Tokadon, their Mastodon client. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we had NeoChat is the matrix um, client. I've logged into this too. And yeah, boom. In my opinion, it's not the most beautiful. I really do like Element, but it's here. It seems to be working. And it seems to be good. I bet in the settings you can change some of these options to have bubbles or, you know, different looks too. So NeoChat, I think that's a win. Okay, let's open up Caden Live. I know that this got some changes. Let me read from the web page for you. Caden Live got support for replacing the audio or video of a clip in your timeline. You can extract the audio of a clip, modify it in another program, and then update the existing clip with that new audio. It further enhanced subtitle feature, allowing you to incorporate multiple subtitles onto a single track. And Caden Live will automatically let you know when an update is necessary, even without an internet connection. How are they doing that? Hmm. Caden Live looked to be working out of the box. Well, they were talking about their itinerary software. Itinerary. Uh, so, you know, like your wallet on iPhone or somewhere to hold your boarding passes and your trip itinerary, uh, this is one of those softwares. There's a number of ways to import data, directly opening PDF tickets or Apple wallet passes. Okay, so you can pull your Apple wallet passes right in uh, from an Android calendar, from entries made via Kmail, Nextcloud, or Thunderbird itinerary, and synced with DabX. Okay, cool. You can plan a trip right here from to other options, and you can have your passes and programs. 
All right, that's KDE itinerary. Looks to be working right out of the box. Dolphin got updates, and I don't want to go over them, but let's just see that it's working properly. Okay, cool. There's Dolphin. Uh, I like Dolphin particularly well, and here it is. Seems to be working. Spectacle, the screenshot. Let's just make sure. Okay, boom, because we are on Wayland now. Uh, let's try to take a screenshot. We'll just do all screens or the current screen. Let's save that. No problem. There it is. Let's see if we can do a screen recording. We're going to do a full screen. Oops, let's turn that off. Full screen. Ooh, did that fail? I think I closed it. Hold on a minute. Okay, it says it's recording for 0.5 seconds. I'm going to move around a little bit. And let's finish that recording. Open it. Hmm. Let's move in here. We'll open a terminal. Oops. I opened the wrong thing. That was me. Let's go over to, I think, videos, screencasts. Uh, let's install VLC. Oops, it was already installed. Great. VLC on that. Let's see if it'll open and play. Yeah, there we go. So it didn't want to play through the automatic uh, auto open feature. Let's look into that a little more. The video is there. So spectacle is working perfect. Um, let me close that down. Now. I'm going to try to open it again. It uses, oh, there it goes. It uses the Dragon player, and it's working fine. Uh, maybe I clicked it wrong last time. So Spectacle and the Dragon player are working great. Oh, here's another one. Let's check out PlasmaTube. Uh, so PlasmaTube is a YouTube viewer that uses Invidious. It's an ad blocker. You can add a source. I know NVIDIAS sources are the best right now. You can also use PeerTube or piped sources. But you can find an NVIDIAS source and add it. Uh, somehow you have to find one closer to you and I don't know how to do that yet. Let me search for one of my videos and see if it's working. Okay, here we are, TechHeart. Okay, do I have to click the play button? Hey rock stars, welcome to TechHeart. Uh, I got two packages tonight that I want to share with everybody. It was uh, kind of neat, actually. I got this package in the mail, and I thought it was the package I was waiting on. I'm going to mute but that. This could be really, really cool, guys. A YouTube viewer with no advertisements. Okay, I'm trying to blow it up to a bigger screen. Is that it? That looks as big as I can make it. So here we go. There. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Look at that, man. So this could be really cool. Plasma tube, a YouTube uh, video viewer with Nvidious right out of the box. That one is killer. I will tell you on the KDE Neon uh, version of Plasma 6, this was giving me some issues. I could never get a video to play. So I'm surprised that it played so easily, but it did. And I'm sure even over there on KDE Neon, that'll be something they iron out here in the next few days. This is a really cool application. Plasma Tube, working on Arch Linux on March 8th. Rock and roll, daddy-o. Let's try to search for our channel. Here we are. Yeah, this is a cool app. This is a cool app. Let's try one more of our videos just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Boom. This is a cool man. Night and man, I'll tell you what. I found something so cool this week that it blew my mind. Plasma tube. Some of you might already know about it, but there's a store. Working right out of the box. Boom! Okay, we'll have to test Kate just real quick, the text editor. Uh, welcome, new file. All right, works fine. We already know that console is working out of the box. Thank gosh. What about that Yakuwaki? Yakukaki? We can run that. Uh, it's F12 to bring it down. Boom, it's right there. F12, so Yakukaki is working just great. I don't like Yakukaki, but if you do, there it is. I'm gonna show you another issue that I noticed. Let's open the 
the most basic thing that a new user is going to want, discover. It's KDE's. There, crashed already. Discover again. Every time I tried to install a package through this, it would crash. Let me just leave it sitting there. Yeah, it crashes itself. Is that called plasma-discover? And see if we can get any info. So I'm not even going to touch nothing. Okay. It's kind of remaining open. Uh, let's search for Firefox. Okay, look at that. So I did notice it was crashing on KDE Neon and on Arch Linux. I mean, I had it happen three, four, five times. However, maybe after a couple updates or a little while, it'll start working. Let's try to install Firefox and see if it'll go. Here we go. So I will report that I had issues with Discover, but fiddle around with it. Open it up. Now let's, we'll try another thing. I opened in the in the terminal this time. I'm trying to read some of these issues. Color scheme issues, K38 themes. So maybe some theme issues with it? KNS errors. I'm not familiar with those, but there's a lot of KNS errors. And a lot of them say theming. So um, it says Firefox was installed. Let's close this. We'll open up Firefox. Okay, so Discover did install that. Now let's try to run it without the terminal again, right from the uh, finder. Run Discover and see if it crashes. Okay, look at that. So again, this is Arch Linux and Plasma 6 on March 9th. If I run Discover through the finder, It crashes without any input from me. If I run it through the terminal, I do get some errors. KNS errors. It flashes a couple times, it goes up. Let's try to um, just kind of surf around. Go to settings, uh, firmware updates, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to find some accessories or trying to think of something big I want on this system. I'll search for GIMP. Let's install GIMP. So look at that. I mean, that's even weird for me. And again, I'm not a developer. I'm like an intermediate to good Linux user. But if I run Plasma Discover from the terminal, it seems to work. And if I run it from the finder or the menu system, it fails. So that's just something teeny tiny. I'm sure they're going to find it. But there's GIMP. Let's close. Open GIMP. Just double checking, but yeah. Okay, so that works. Discover does work, period. However, it's reporting some KNS slash theme errors. And if you try to run it through the finder, you get a cock soup. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of good and a lot of issues that we're going to report up to the Arch team and the Plasma team. Let me know what you think about Plasma 6. I personally, even with these issues, growing pains, I think this is a killer desktop environment. I can't wait for the next couple of weeks as they do iron out these small bugs that are no huge issues but are issues, and this is gonna be a killer release. All right, guys, let me know about Plasma 6 in the comments below. Tech Heart out.